guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking about my August wrap up and my pretty big September TBR. <laughs> Let's dive into the video and I'm going to show you guys the four books which I finished in August. So the first book that I finished in August is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli and let me tell you guys this is one of my new favorite contemporaries of all time. This is an LGBTQ plus contemporary read about a girl who has had so many crushes but like all of the crushes have never crushed back on her and this book in one word for me was relatable which probably makes it one of my most favorite books of all time. I've written down so many amazing quotes of this book. The funny thing is that Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which Becky Albertalli also wrote, was not my favorite book ever. I know that like so many people loved it. I did really enjoy the movie, but the book itself wasn't my favorite. So I was kind of like afraid to dive into another one of Becky Albertalli's books. But after reading this one, I am so like completely turned around and I want to read all of her books and see what I will think of them. Our main character is called Molly. She, first of all, is kind of like a plus size girl. Has two moms because one of them is a lesbian and one of them is bisexual. And I believe her sister is, it wasn't really touched upon if she was like bisexual or a lesbian, but she definitely had a relationship with a female. And it was just all like exploration of like, having relationships and crushes and other people having relationships and how you combine that with friendship and stuff like that and it was so incredibly good. I highly recommend this to everyone and I totally gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I finished, I am so proud of myself and that is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi and I'm really proud of myself because one it's a fantasy which is always kind of like a struggle for me and this one was 525 pages which is big. I've shown this so many times and I keep doing it but the book is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean if you don't know anything about Children of Blood and Bone you have been living under a rock because this is I feel like the most talked about book of this entire year. I really did like it but I feel like I didn't enjoy it as much as the majority. This wasn't a 5 out of 5 star read for me. I feel like it was more like a 4 out of 5. Around page 80 the story really picked up and I sort of like understood what was gonna happen. I really love the different points of view but definitely my favorite character is Amari. I will definitely be continuing on with this series. I completely forgot to mention again that all these books which I read were chosen by Leora from Mind Daisy. She is a YouTuber and makes videos about books sometimes as well and she makes them in Dutch but she picked most of these books for me and and I did pretty well in my opinion. The next book that she picked out for me to read is History Is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. This is a very emotional book. So we follow Griffin and his first love, Theo, has drowned in an accident. And you alternate between history and between the now. And Griffin is sort of like talking to Theo's current boyfriend before he died. One thing that I really liked about this book is how real and how complicated everything is, like the relationships, but it also kind of confused me sometimes or I don't know, something about it didn't make me love this book. So I gave this one a 3.75 out of 5 stars just because something was missing. I've never read an Adam Silvera book, but now I completely am turned around and I want to read all of his works, so I might be ordering some of his books very soon. <laughs> then I borrowed a book from Leora and that is Giant Days, a graphic novel by Alison Tryman, Saren and Coker? I am not too sure. I love reading graphic novels sometimes because it's super easy. I read this one in I think two to three hours but I really love to look at the artwork and you basically just follow a group of girls in their first year of college. If the second volume comes out in Dutch and Leora might get it, I, I def I'm definitely gonna ask her if I can borrow it again because this was just so much fun and I gave this one I feel like a four out of five stars just because I it was highly enjoyable. I'm now right on to my really ambitious set September TBR, but I feel like I can manage to read quite a lot of them. I'm going to show you guys two books which I've actually already read and I need to tell you guys something. I ordered a gigantic Roa doll collection box set. It was 27 euros for 15 books and I love Matilda and I want to read all of Roa doll's books so I was really happy to find this. So I already read two of those 15 books. So first I got SEO Trot. I'm not going to talk about like what I thought of the books because it is a TBR and not a wrap-up so this one I've already read 
and I've also read Georgia's Marvelous Medicine. Now on to the books which I'm currently reading on my bookstagram at Sabine's Book Nook. If you guys want to follow me, I post quite some things in my story there. I asked you guys which Roald Dahl book I should read next and the majority of people, I feel like 80%, said that I should read The Witches. So I only read chapter one but I mean Roald Dahl's like writing style is just so fun and quirky and it just makes me happy and forget about life and stuff. This one is just a little teeny tiny bit longer. It's like 200 pages, but I feel like I should be able to finish it this week. And I also started An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, which was also on my August TBR, which Leora picked for me. And we are currently sort of like buddy reading this and sharing our thoughts and opinions about the story. I am on page 135 out of the 400 or something, and I am really enjoying it. I've heard so many amazing things about the story, and I am really enjoying the writing style. The world is still kind of vague to me. I cannot wait to finish this book this month. Next up I have two other Roald Dahl books which I would really like to start and hopefully finish this month. So the first one is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Just because this is one of my favorite movies especially as a child I've seen the original movie from like 1974 or something but of course also the one from 2005 with Johnny Depp. And then the other book which I really really want to read is the BFG aka The Big Friendly Giant. I have seen this movie in Dutch so many times like the animation movie but just when I was a child this movie was my absolute favorite and I still sort of like remember moments of the movie but I've completely forgotten the story so when I read this book I will remember and I will be happy about it. <laughs> the last two books which I'm planning on starting this month we shall see. The first one is a book that Leora also picked for my August TBR but I couldn't like pick it up and that one is Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. This book is a contemporary I believe like a sort of a coming of age story about a girl who has a web comic which is super super popular but she wants to stay anonymous but then like Eliza's identity is like shown to the world and shit goes down but apparently it has really good like representation of anxiety. I've heard just amazing things about this book like last year in 2017 everyone was talking about it. I still haven't picked it up. Leora loved it so hopefully I will love this one as well and if I want to pick up another fantasy book I really want to pick up Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This is the exclusive collector's edition and I definitely need to show you guys the beauty that is this book. So these are the the inside pages and then look at this mm, oh my god yes I believe this is a new adult fantasy book but the sequel is coming out in October and I'm hoping that if I read this one and I enjoy it like so incredibly much I can pick up Vengeful because I pre-ordered that one on Amazon so we shall see um, if I can get to it or not <laughs> so this was my August wrap-up and my ambitious September TBR I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or the button down below. And because I'm a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads, but I also have Instagram, Snapchat, plus an email address, and links to those will be in the description bar down below as well. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!